is our 360 issues are live right here on 7 FM 103.9 on Nature. My name is still Raymond Okolo. You can call me the biggest of them all, the big man on radio. And of course, with me right here in the studio as well, too, for today is Docas. Thank you for welcoming me back, and uh, I'm fully loaded right now. We are welcome to 360 issues right here on 7 FM 103.9 on Nita. And we're going to be talking about something very serious today that has to do with the society, actually. It's not about the government today. So it has to do with the society. Uh, what we are taking a look at today is quite serious. Um, this one happened, uh, you know, that was on uh, May 2nd. Uh, you know, uh, men of the Federal Capital Territory Police Command, uh, you know, arrested a 16-year-old boy in Mano John over the killing of his father, uh, Monday John. Uh, our correspondent gathered that in Mano around 10 p.m. on Tuesday used a pistol to kill his father after the father had engaged in a fistful cover between himself and then, uh, you know, uh, the young boy's mother, Messi John. And it was quite terrible. I think the young man saw his father beating up his mother, trying to, uh, you know, uh, beat her up. Maybe they had some family issues, uh, which we know is uh, something that happens in marriages these days. But then doing it in front of your children can actually uh, be quite uh, terrible. And right about now, we have seen what just happened with this young man uh, deciding to actually uh, take up the pistol and then hit his father until the father dropped dead. We're going to get you the full story. Uh, Doc is going to do that. Uh, but right about that, I just wanted you to get a glimpse of it, that what happened is quite terrible. The fact that this young man, uh, you know, right about now, decided to actually put a stop to it. It must have happened. It must have happened a couple of times. It must have been happening uh, for uh, you know a long period of time. His father always beating up uh, the mother, and this young man decided now that it was time for him to actually step up. I was surprised hearing that a, a teenager pounded father to death for fighting mom. Actually, he used. When he is not found the young he wants to do, I, I begin to wonder I'm how the picture is holding onto the piece right it, there. I'm telling you, pounds his own father to death. That's quite serious. So I'll just read through the story so that we can have better understanding on it. Men of the Federal Capital Territory Police Command arrested a 16-year-old boy, Emmanuel John, over the killing of his father, Monday John. So it was that, 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 Emmanuel, around 10 p.m. on Tuesday, May 2nd, used a pistol to kill his father. The incident happened during a fist call between the deceased and Emmanuel's mother, Mercy, Mrs. Mercy John. A police source revealed that a case of culpable homicide was reported to the Kashi police station by one Yusuf Ayuba on Wednesday, May 3rd. So according to him, Emmanuel is in police custody and will be arraigned in a juvenile court at the conclusion of the police investigation. So commenting on the incidents during a press briefing on Friday last week, the Federal Capital Commissioner of Police, Haruna Garuba, said the suspect hit hard, hit hard on his father's head. Garuba said it all happened when the suspect's mother and father engaged each other in a physical fight. The suspect took side of his own mother and used a pestle to hit hard on the father's head, which eventually led to his death. So that is that about the story. You know, most of the time we talk about domestic violence and so many people will see it as something that is not really serious, but it's a very serious case, I must say. And uh, we understand the fact that we are not brought up from the same family background and definitely we will have different attitude. But when we come together as husband and wife, I believe we see ourselves. We know that we can at least accommodate each other. That is why we go ahead to say that we are getting married. Because I, I do not see someone that will not get to, you know, like someone to some extent that you say that you want to get married to this person. I, I will actually love us to talk about this today because most people are at home right now and you are actually with your husband today, you are actually with your wife. But some marriages has gotten to the level that the woman will even be happy when the man is not around for a very long period of time. They will love their husband to be traveling around. Whenever he's not around, they have rest of mind. Should marriage get to that level? And whenever the man is around, maybe for just one day, 
the woman will be so pissed off and you will start hearing noise everywhere. On the part of this young boy now, 16 years old, just 16, seeing the father, I believe this will not be the first time this is happening. And they said he sided his mother. Sometimes I get to talk about mothers too. It depends on what we have been feeding our children with about their father. Some mothers will see it and tell their children, this is what your father is doing to me. This is this, this is that. This, I'm the one paying your school fee. I'm the one doing this. I'm the one doing that. You know, on the part of we, the mothers now. Sometimes the things we feed our children with shows in their behavior towards their father. I must say. And that actually might lead to him hmm, backing the mother. Or seeing the father now abusing the mother either by punching her or doing anything uh, any sort of things to her that will lead this man this young boy this innocent boy i must say that is just growing up to become a person in life now killed his own father so i believe is the cause by the is this thing is actually caused by the parent even if you want to have an argument you should grow to the level that if anything happened between you and your husband it should not be revealed to the children at all. In that aspect, there are some things that will be solved amicably. I know of some parents where they fight truly, but you can't hear them making noise to the level that their children will now come in that daddy is okay now, mommy is okay. It's not something that is supposed to be happening around us, but still yet it is happening. We can see this case study now, now led to the death of the father. So I must say domestic violence is something we should continue to talk about until there are solutions to these things and everybody gets to understand the fact that we are all human beings and we can actually offend each other. But the way to manage this uh, argument is what matters a lot. This is a very huge something that happened. Because this thing that happened now, the boy will forever it will forever be in the mind of the boy, even if the, uh, is later released that uh, maybe the father has been beating the mother if they won the case or anything but still yet it should be in record that this boy actually killed his own father and when he grows up to begin to have children too what if the same thing happened to him but we hope this will not happen to him but we just need to talk about some things concerning marriage and if there are married people out there they get to talk to uh, they get to give their ideas, give their take on how their marriage is working so that those that are facing these challenges will, know how, will learn from it and know how to manage each other. Uh, domestic violence is uh, quite uh, prominent here in Nigeria uh, and other parts of Africa. Uh, there is a deep cultural belief in Nigeria that it is uh, socially accepted uh, to hit a woman as a disciplinary measure which is totally wrong. Uh, we never uh, you know, accept as such a behavior, but that seems to be the case uh, in so many parts of the country. And then uh, it has gone so high. There's, so, there, you know, there's no uh, signs of you know reduction at this point in time. There are no signs that uh, it might actually get to reduce uh, anytime soon because it keeps on happening every single day. Mm -hmm. uh, in different parts, it happens in the north, it happens in the south, it happens in the east, and west. There is no place that is uh, that you go to right now in Nigeria and say ah, it does not happen there. It happens every single place. Now I've actually seen a situation where uh, you know uh, you know this family, just like Doc has made mention of, it is down to what the parents feed the children because when you do that, you know uh, I think you should try as much as possible to keep your children away from whatever issues you might be having with your husband and that's the reason why in most cases when you go away from nigeria to more developed countries uh the parents try to try to shield the children no matter the issues they're having with the parent with the other uh, partner they try to shield these children and then when it comes to uh you know the court hearings and whatever you keep them away from all of those things mm -hmm. but right here in nigeria the reverse is the case everybody wants to put their children everybody wants the children to support them and so you come in, you say, this is what has been happening. The father has been doing this or your mother has been doing this. And you are trying to see how you can get them to side with you so that whenever uh, you go, the person would uh, be left alone. But mm -hmm. that has not really helped. Because in Nigeria here, in the north, I saw this one. This one happened to a neighbor of ours. You know, uh, 
the the woman would I say connived with the children grown ups. If you see them tall boys, they, they look like as if they play basketball. They are very very tall. If I stand close to them, I think I they reach just their waist size. Like <laughs> that's how tall they are. The children, two boys and then uh, about uh, two girls or so, and they all join hands together to beat up the father. Now I don't know if the father has been you know, having issues with the woman before and he maybe has been beating her up. I don't know. I don't live with them. But the one I know is one I saw that they were beating their father. The two boys and the two girls and the mother was there giving them more ginger, giving them more power. Like continue, now calm, now so. And, and it was happening. They picked up this young man, uh, this old man rather, and the man just you know sat down there, started swearing for his children. Now, I don't want to say that it's going to follow them because as since there, I've not heard from them. So. <laughs> I'm not going to say that they swear they will follow them or they swear they will catch up with them. But, but you don't lay hands on your father. That it, That is just the way it is. You don't lay hands on your father. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, you don't have the right uh, to do that. Now, this young man, I'm not trying to say it was the woman who you know pushed him, but at a point, he had to step in. Because no child would want to sit there and say that uh, you're seeing your, your mother always being beaten every single day by your father. You want to step in and at that age, about 16 years old, he's now feeling like a man, feeling like, oh, yes, I can actually protect this woman in my life. And then decided to, you know, step in. But where he got it wrong now is the fact that uh, he took up that uh, pestle and started hitting uh, the father like as if it was pounded yam and unsala. And, you know, right about now, it's going to affect his life going forward. That is the truth. It's definitely going to affect his life because now he's going to be uh, brought up to the juvenile court and uh, definitely they'll find him maybe guilty and take him to a juvenile center for him to, uh, you know, uh, be there until he gets to the age of 18 and being probably being transferred to, uh, you know, senior prisons and all of that. So this young man's life as we know it right now will definitely not be the same. And it is down to the fact that the parents were not able to control themselves. The parents started bringing up issues that they should have kept away from the children. But in a situation where uh, you know you have a family living in a two-bedroom apartment or just one-room apartment where there is no space, how do you protect the children from seeing all of those issues going on between the husband? and the wife so these are some of the things that we want to find out from you guys this morning and then uh for uh people who have been married uh, for a long time i pray uh, please would love to hear from you and then get your advice to the young ones like ourselves who are trying to you know get married in, in the next uh couple of months you oh. know let's get to find out uh how do you take care of these issues and how do you protect your children uh from seeing uh, that part because we know no marriage is perfect. Exactly. No marriage is perfect. There are marriages where a lot of people uh, have issues. You see, uh, the the partner, the husband and the wife are having issues. But then, how do you successfully keep it away from the children? Because due to the fact that these parents were not able to keep it away from this child, this child right about now is going to suffer for the rest of his life. Some actually abuse their um, their spouse through verbal words. So people will tell you words yes. that psychological that you uh, will you will rethink your life. Say, did I actually come to this world? Is, my life? is this my life? You know, there are some words that when you hear them, you can even it can cause you to overthink yourself and feel depressed. And these things are happening in marriages too. How do they go about managing the situation? Is it that when uh, anything comes up, you begin to remind your spouse of how you, you've helped the person in the past? All those words are not supposed to be. Truly, you, you've not slapped her before. You've not uh, beat her up before. But what of the words that are coming out of your mouth? Uh, you see people, uh, maybe they quarrel today, they insult themselves, and sometimes the husband beats uh, you know the, the woman and then maybe tomorrow he realizes his mistake and comes back to beg the woman the woman accepts uh, the man again and then the circle continues what are your advice are to you know people who are in such relationships at this point in time uh, do they still remain there thinking that uh, that tomorrow will be better or do you think uh, that when it gets to that point uh, you have to walk away from that uh, relationship a lot of people are saying no that Nigeria here 
Uh, we don't believe in divorce. We don't believe in this, that it is only uh, a Western world that you see that and we are trying to imbibe uh, the Western culture uh, into us. But what would you be, or what would actually be your advice for someone who's in a relationship where the partner keeps on beating them every single time? Do you advise that person to stay and continue and keep on praying that tomorrow will be better? Or do you advise that person, uh, you know, for the sake of their health and the sake of their life, uh, to actually just walk away from that, uh, you know, relationship? No matter the age of the children, most of us think about they are still young, they are still very young, they don't understand what is happening. I'm telling you, they actually understand what is happening. You will be surprised a three-year-old boy or a three-year-old girl will just come out to say that uh, I will beat you just the same way my mommy, I mean my daddy is beating my mommy at all. You, the child can just innocently say it outside. That shows that these children, no matter how young they are, do not do this thing in their presence. Oh. And if, let it not even happen, you should know how to settle things because you guys are matured already. You are not too, you are not too young to manage each other no matter the issues you're having uh, you know between yourselves when your children are around pretend as if nothing is wrong and that's why sometimes if you see all these uh, american movies uh, you see maybe the child decides or uh, starts noticing some things within the parents and then goes to one of the parents to ask the parents to be like no nothing is going on uh, it does not concern you we are okay we are cool it's not as if they don't know that something's going on but mm -hmm. for that i uh, know the sanity of the child they want to let the child know that whatever might be the case, it does not concern the child because at that stage, the child might start feeling like maybe I'm the one that caused it, maybe uh, nobody loves you. And you don't want that because it affects the person psychologically. So they want to keep that child away from the entire situation. But here in Nigeria, once you start fighting like this, you just see, uh, you just see uh, the woman going to the, to the son calling all the children and start shouting Nevo Papa Unu Nemim or if it's the, the father, the father goes out to the children and start asking Nevo Nemim Nen Kang 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 and you start blabbing and start telling the children these things and these things will still, you know, uh, it will be printed permanently uh, within the minds of these children and it will definitely come up at some point in time it will definitely come up at some point in time so yes, what you have to do right about now is just ensure uh, that you stay away from uh, you know your children. Whenever you guys are having issues, try to keep them apart and make sure that your children don't find out what exactly is going on.